For Halloween this year, I dressed up as the Green Arrow. I also did one of his insane workout challenges for this YouTube channel. It was all upper body and abs and only body weight exercises. So body weight and calisthenics moves and it was actually one of the most challenging things I've ever done. So stick around to see me in a lot of pain. I am a huge Arrow fan. I've watched every season and it came out when I was 12. So Stephen Amell really was a health inspiration to me. He's clearly in ridiculously good shape. If you've seen Arrow, it's all just shots of him doing ridiculous workouts. Salmon ladders, clapping push-ups and handstands motivated me to push myself. And I really like his approach, the really thoughtful approach he has to fitness. He cares more about body weight control over lifting heavy weights. And I try to emulate that. And any workout that's hard enough for him is really gonna test me. All right, people, this is the Arrow Workout Challenge. Wish me luck. So the workout consists of five supersets. This is the first superset. It is burpees and bicycle crunches. Eight burpees right into 20 bicycle crunches. One set done, 24 to go. The whole workout with the warm up took about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm gonna speed it up a lot. Pacing was the hardest part. I tried to keep all the breaks under one minute. Five sets in, I was already exhausted. Uh, that was hard. That was tough. Second superset, clapping push-ups and dragonflies. Okay, this is a dragonfly. This is one of the hardest ab exercises I've ever done. It's all about slow control, lowering yourself to the ground, and it is a full core engaging move. So just doing one 20 second rep is awful and challenging. The eighth set got really hard. I know I can do three sets of clapping push-ups, but after this, I was just praying I could finish. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Four. This is killing me, but it's the last set. Of clapping push ups and dragonfly. Ha. Superset number three shoulder taps and mountain climbers. Of course I warmed up before doing this, but that's less exciting, so I just put the warm up in here. Arm circles, arm swings, torso twists, just warming up my upper body with dynamic stretches, and a few wrist pulses. I used to do this for my handstand prep, and I think that it's applicable for push-ups as well. I thought this superset would be a little easier, but I was quickly proven wrong. Ah, my arms feel like jelly. This was a bad idea. This was the hardest part. These middle sets were really tough. Mentally, just knowing I had so much left to do, even though I was already so tired. I'm dying, last set. Ah. 
Uh. <sighs> Fuck, man. All right, green arrow workout challenge is killing me, but I'm almost done. Fourth superset, dips and flutter kicks. So arms and lower abs, pretty tough combo. One. Oh man, this is hard, but that's how you get YouTube famous. I really zoned out for these and actually don't remember them happening. Oh. Last one, number five. 10 dips, 20 water kits. All right, people, last superset. I am so dead right now. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I have only handstands and planks left, and then I'm out. So I hope I can finish. I'm honestly not sure if I will. And this part was all mental. I knew I had the first four supersets already done, so I wasn't gonna let myself stop, but it really was tough, and it was quickly getting harder with each of the last five sets. Set 24, I feel lightheaded, but almost done. Yeah, if you're lightheaded, please do not work through that. I never tell a client to. I only did this because I knew that I could roll if I was about to pass out. Man, last set. <sighs> Hardest workout challenge I've ever done, but I can say it was totally worth it. Done. All right, there you go, everybody. That is the Green Arrow Workout Challenge. Five supersets, five each, doing burpees and bicycle crunches, clapping push-ups and dragonflies, shoulder taps and mountain climbers, dips and flutter kicks, and finishing with handstands and planks. It was brutal. Arrow was one of my favorite shows. Stephen Amell and his calisthenics training really inspired me to become a personal trainer. I hope it did Stephen Amell proud. I hope you enjoyed. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna finish it. Somehow I did, but I'm in a lot of pain. Please like and subscribe. I have a lot of videos about workouts and nutrition and training content that I think could help a lot of people. So please subscribe and we'll see you next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you enjoyed that, check out another video here or subscribe for all of my stuff here. I upload every week. Follow me here. I post a lot. Thanks and see you next week.